Hi book lover, welcome to your library, our library. It's all about fun in the reading culture. We are seats accredited and corporate certified. My name is M. Dinjiru, the artist. So today's video is all about this really nothing new under the sun. Yeah, so some, some of the things or the phenomena that we, we see like they are new, sometimes they they may have happened in the past. We may have read about them and even forgotten about them. You know, like sometime back, I think two years ago, when the word when I when I heard the word entanglement, I was like, I this this is the first time I'm hearing the word. This is the first time I'm hearing the word. Only to go back and grab a book and I'm like, ah, I'd already read about this in a different book many years long before I had that, I, I had that word. Yeah, so because I'm recording this video in a, on a Sunday morning, yeah, I've just finished recording the other video about, about my, my need for help with the Bible, you know? Yeah, in that video I shared how Sometimes I struggle with the Bible. I just, I just flip the Bible and read whatever is there. Yeah, so I needed help with that. Yeah, but all in all, I have a few scriptures that, that I know. As much as my, my, my style, my approach style is still elementary. So like in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 19, Sorry, chapter 1 and verse 9, it says, What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There's nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which one can say, Look, this is something new. It was here already long ago. It was here before our time. Yeah. So there's really nothing new under the sun. In fact, I read somewhere that there are no new principles. No one should claim to come up with new principles. Only new presentations. Yeah. But there are no new truths, new principles, new formulas. It's just new presentations now. You know, anything that's happening happened sometime back. You know, as I was telling you earlier, like when I, when I, two years ago, when, when the word entanglement was, yeah, I was trending on the internet. It was like, ah, this is a new word to me. Okay, to me back then, I don't know to you. It was like a new word. Then when I was rereading my favorite teenager book, My Life in Crime by John Kriamete, there is a, yeah, Jack Zorro was already entangled. Jack Zorro was dating Elizabeth, who is the secretary to his boss. And he was also dating Helena, who was the the daughter to the boss. You know? Yeah, and to make matters worse, he was living, he was hosted by the boss. He was living in the same roof with the boss. So when when Elizabeth discovers about this, the secretary to the boss, yeah, she's so furious and in a letter she sends to Jack Zorro, she talks about that she regrets entang entangling herself with a nigger like, I regret entangling myself, entangling myself with a nigger like you, something of that sort. So I was like, ah, it seems like I'd come across this word many years ago, but yeah, it vanished. You know, so uh, I think books are just marvelous, yeah? Sometimes when you are done reading a book, you are like, ah, I have really existed reading this book. But anytime you revisit a book, the second time, the third time, yeah, you just learn something new. Yeah. You see a different perspective. Yeah. There is something that, that's just new. There's just something new. Yeah. No matter how many times you read a book, you know. Also, the more you, you, the, like when I was, the first time I was reading My Life in Crime, I was a teenager. So I was reading that book with the, with the mind of a teenager, you know? 
So when I recently read the book, I was now reading it with with the mind of, you know, with the mind of an adult. Yeah, yeah. So another phenomena that is currently happening is the the wababa phenomena, mubaba wababa. You know, yeah. So wababa mubaba. That's a new phenomena. It seems like it's a new phenomena. But once you go back to a book, I'm sure maybe you have read by Marjorie McGoy. Marjorie, Marjorie Oluthi McGoy. The book is coming to birth. There is a character there, a young light-skinned girl. She's a teenager. She's 18. Yeah? Yeah? She's... She's rolling with a Mubaba, you know, with Mr. M. Mr. M is a politician, you know, and he's a family man. But this thing was, you know, the Mubaba phenomena, because coming to birth is, was published in around 1984, if I'm not wrong. So back then, those many decades back, the Mubaba phenomena was already there. The entanglement, you know, my life in crime was published in 1974, 1971. Yeah. So in the 60s, entanglement was, was still there. So there's nothing really that can happen and you see that it's basically new. It's just new presentation, new packaging of, of things. Yeah, just like in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 9 says that there's nothing that can happen and it's new. Yeah? There's nothing that you can say, look, there there's something new. No. Only new, new presentations. Yeah. So I would like to hear in the comment section. Yeah. What is this that you had read some time back and you've forgotten about it? Then later on when you went to read the book, you are like Ah, I thought this something is something new. It, it was already in the in the book. Yeah, it it was already written some time back. So kindly share with us in the comment section. Kindly share with us in the comment section. Also, even the 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 novel, the the Eye of Darkness by Dean Kuntz. The he talks about a virus, you know. He talks about a virus, the one C G what virus, what what have you. Yeah. So somehow, and it is many years back. As much it, it was work of of fiction, you see the imagination like could have in a way the, whatever he was imagine imagining is not very far away from from the present day reality of the coronavirus and all that. Yeah. So there's nothing really that can happen and you see that now this is this is new. Yeah. So tell us in the comment section something that you have come across and you're like, ah, I thought this is new, but you had already read about it in the book. Thank you.